shows just when you thought they were running out of video game names. They come out with Fuse. I'm waiting for the game called The. Which would make title cards oh so exciting. How about the game formerly known as The, which would now be an unpronounceable symbol? Just think about that for a second while I shoot this guy in the ass. Fuse! From Insomniac, who's known for games like Ratchet and Clank and Resistance, and EA, known for games like NHL 91 and Jungle Strike on the Sega Genesis. What would video games do without Predator for inspiration? Fuse is a goofy title and a goofy game. Beneath its action exterior lies the heart of a bad game that's good. At first glance, Fuse is so incredibly unoriginal that it's laughably silly. And it lacks personality, substance, and dramatic storytelling, but it more than makes up for it with fun, addictive gameplay. I mean, I, I can turn into the invisible woman right in front of bad guys and they immediately forget I'm there, and then shower them with grenades and watch them all chain reaction explode. I mean, that stuff's actually pretty fun. Fuse is a squad-based action game that you're meant to play with your friends, and the entire hook is leveling your characters up and unlocking new skills, which look cool. So the entire plot just feels like a giant afterthought. Like, oh, oh man, we needed to make a story too, uh... You get experience for pretty much everything, and then you apply that experience to your upgrade tree, which is pretty much the star of the game. As ridiculous as the rest of the game is, the upgrades are great. It has one of the most ridiculous storylines I've ever seen. Fuse is like some kind of super secret energy source, and bad guys are going to use it for a terrorist weapon. You control a team of four elite soldiers who are as one-dimensional and generic as possible. At the beginning of the game, they each pick up their own special fuse-infused weapon, get it? So each squad member has their own skill tree. And, a nice feature, you can switch between them in battle. But you know how it is, once you go invisible, you'll never go back. She's clearly the best because nobody can see her. On the rooftops. Although the dude with the giant shield is pretty good too for just taking out a lot of bad guys at once. Obviously, the best way to play Fuse is with some friends. So gather three of your buddies and all join together into one... Fuse Fest. After all of my mockery and overuse of the word ridiculous, I enjoy Fuse. It's a fun single-player game, too, and it has that Insomniac style. You just need to give the game some time to see it. At first, your characters all kind of suck, and it doesn't help that they're not even remotely likable. But later in the game, as you level them up and apply your skills, they turn into superheroes. And that's when Fuse gets fun. In addition to a single-player campaign that you can play co-op with your buddies, of course, this also has your Horde or Firefight survival mode. But you also earn experience and credits that you can apply to your characters and your squad perks. And it's, it's just a very rewarding system when you can, like, chain reaction explode all of your enemies. Or strangle them as the Invisible Woman. If you're looking for innovation or a plot that's memorable, Fuse is not the game for you. But if you're looking for a silly good time that you can play with your friends, then I would recommend checking it out. While Fuse doesn't seem to take itself too seriously, it could have been more charming. Maybe if there were a Lombax running around with them and a little talking robot. I have to give these sound designers some credit though. The neat weapon sounds, explosions, and screaming are all very cool. All clear on my end. It's Fuse available on your game console of choice, provided it's not the Game Boy.
Help! 